every once in a while, you'll come across some of these people. Some of them are actually trolls, but some are kind of just genuinely curious, and they'll ask this question. Is bass even that important? Or sometimes it's, I can't hear the bass, what's the point of it even being there? So in this video, I'm going to show you just how important bass is to so many different styles of music, and how you'll miss it if it's not there. Because while I might be a bit biased as a bass player, bass is incredibly important. <laughs> Now, rather than just try and explain why bass does actually matter and it is actually important, I'm just going to show you the difference bass makes. I've got a bunch of tracks right here with the bass taken all the way out. So I'm just going to let them play and then add in the bass, and I'm almost certain you're going to hear a difference. The first one is just a straightforward 90s banger, Counting Crows' Mr. Jones. I'll just let it play for a bit. Now, the bass is supposed to come in with the drums right here. But we won't. Let's just lay out. Okay, let's come in here. Oh, one, two, three. Yeah, can you feel the difference? When the drums come in without the bass, it's like there's no life in it. And then when the bass comes in, bam, it kind of lifts like, uh, like Arnold Schwarzenegger in 1975. It just feels so, so good. Let's do another one and let's make it metal. Yeah, so so many metal musicians, they kind of rag on bass players as being failed guitarists, what do you need them for anyway, all that kind of stuff. But you take the bass away from metal music and the guitars will not sound or feel half as kind of brutal as they do when the bass is there. Check this one out, it's Iron Maiden's The Trooper. Let's bring the bass in here. I want... Let's lay out this one. Let's play this one. And let's lay out of this one. Oh, I played that one. <laughs> but you see, this makes a huge difference. Take Steve Harris out of Iron Maiden and there would be no Iron Maiden. Let's do something in a bit different of a style. Let's try Michael Jackson's Thriller. Now, the original recording of this was actually on a synth bass, not a bass guitar, but the same principle applies. So let's find it real quick and let's just give it a go. It's not much this song without the bass line. Let's go one more round. Let's bring the bass in here. Two, three. Play out for a bit no after this one. This whole song is built around that bass line. Take it away, and the song just kind of dies. It goes limp, feels flaccid, doesn't feel good at all. Finally, let's do an acoustic song. Now, even when the music is super chilled out, the bass adds so much. Now, this one is Nora Jones's uh, Don't Know Why. Without any bass. At the moment, it's just guitar, piano, uh, drums, voice comes in here. I waited till I saw the sun. I don't Super know. Super chilled out, but let's add in some bass. Two, three. I left you by the house of fun. I don't know why I didn't come. I don't know why I didn't. 
The bass adds just so much depth and clarity to the track as well. And some of the chord voicings uh, in the guitar, they're a little ambiguous, so the bass needs to be there to ground everything. Even though the song is super relaxed, the bass is an incredibly important part of it. Honestly, I could keep going here, song after song after song, that will just feel kind of limp when there's no bass, and they come to life when the bass is kind of injected back in. Now, if you want to know what kind of flaccid songs sound like, the ones without the bass, I've put a link in the description to a YouTube channel that has literally hundreds of songs with the bass taken out. You can have a listen to them and see what it's like when the bass isn't there, and you can also use them as a kind of helpful practice tool, so check that one out. Now, be honest, when I played those examples, could you hear the difference? And why do people sometimes say that bass isn't important or that they can't hear it? Now generally, it's for three reasons. Two legit and one that's kind of not so much. Now reason number one that's actually legitimate. Uh, bass is not the thing that most people hear first. For most people, their ears are going to hone in on the voice, the vocals, which is perfectly natural since we can all relate to it uh, the most. We all have a voice, right? And after that, it's usually other instruments that are in the register of the human voice, like the guitar or the piano. Some people gravitate towards the drums because they're kind of easy to hear and to process. But it actually takes a little bit of ear development, a little bit of ear training to easily hear the bass lines in a sort of busy recording. Now, if you couldn't hear the difference in the examples, uh, then there's a good chance that you just haven't developed that part of your ear yet. But it is a skill that you can absolutely learn. So if this is something that you struggle with, check out my video on how to hear bass lines in recordings. I'll put a link to it up here and also in the description of this video. It goes into this much more deeply than I will here. Now the second reason people don't think bass matters that is kind of a legitimate reason is that they aren't listening on devices that really produce bass frequencies. Now are you watching this video on your phone or your tablet or your laptop? Now if you are, I would not be surprised at all if you didn't notice any difference in the examples I played. If you only ever really listen to music on a phone or through laptop speakers, there's no way you'll ever get the full effect of the bass. The speakers in phones and other kind of devices like that, they just can't reproduce those frequencies. The bass may as well not be there. But if you're listening on a decent stereo or headphones or even in a car with a good sound system, you'll miss the bass when it isn't there, guaranteed. And you heard that in the songs that I just played for you. Now, if you've watched this far, you probably either came into this video already convinced that bass is actually important for music, or if you didn't think so before you watched this, then hopefully, hopefully you see and hear the value in it now. Not everyone is going to agree with you though. Like I said, some people are always listening on dodgy speakers, and some just haven't developed their ears enough yet. So you'll come across these people every once in a while. Anytime you do meet someone who really believes that bass isn't important or doesn't need to be there, here's what I want you to do. Send them this video and get them to either wear headphones or listen through a halfway decent sound system. Of course, if they're trying to get a reaction, that's kind of the third reason why uh, you know, people would say that bass doesn't matter, they're kind of just trolling, they're expecting you to fight back. And then I recommend you either just don't have that conversation or if you really feel like you have to say something, Try agreeing with them. It'll mess them up super badly. Say something like, oh yeah, I totally know what you mean. Trolls don't have nearly as much fun when they don't get the reaction that they want, so just don't give it to them. Now, if you're just starting out on bass, it can be super confusing about what to learn first. Is it scales, arpeggios, just learn songs, music theory, should you learn to read music? It can be a real maze if you're a beginner, but I want to make things easy for you. So I've created a special beginner's starter pack. It's a collection of some of my absolute best material for beginners. And most importantly, instead of focusing on the million things you could potentially learn, it focuses on just three things that you need to know when you're starting out on bass. Nail these three things and you'll be ahead of 90% of other bass players who don't know what to work on. Also, it's 100% free, so just click the link in the description, sign up on the form on that page, and I'll send it straight to you as a little gift, almost like a little welcome to the world of bass. To recap though, you learned that even if you can't always hear the bass consciously, it is monumentally important, and without it, songs just kind of feel a bit limp, a bit lifeless, a bit flaccid. Now I showed you four examples in different styles and even different kinds of bass instruments and hopefully you learned uh, about the two legitimate reasons that people uh, say bass doesn't matter and of course the one kind of BS, I'm a troll reason. 
Thank you so much for watching and for kind of letting me rant a little bit. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm Luke from becomeabassist.com and I will see you hopefully in that beginner's starter pack. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,